Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, what is the state of Solar Cycle 25? Where are we in the uh, latest solar cycle and solar activity? What is happening? And uh, does it follow predictions or is it different? Well, we uh, first noticed that it is stronger than it uh, was supposed to be. That everybody confirms. We also are now at one year after the peak of Solar Cycle 25. So we uh, have seen that Solar Max happened in 2024. It happened uh, somewhere around the months of October, November, December 2024. Since then, we have started the slow decline of a solar cycle. Now, no panic. Don't worry. A lot of people are worried we're going to uh, solar minimum real fast. We're not. We're you know following the uh, slope, uh, and technically there are still quite a few years of good propagation and solar activity left. So don't worry too much about it. If we look at the uh, chart, the latest chart that we have, so peak uh, late 2024, and uh, then we see that we're in the declining phase. There was a little downturn here, uh, quite a, a strong one. Um, when we look at, um, I, I remember August, September of this year, uh, we were in low values, but we were back up to the normal. So. Of course, what we look at in the solar cycle is the smoothed uh, value. Um, I have a lot of people that said, well, you know, you're not what, looking at it fine. Uh, there's high peaks of solar activity. Yeah, it's the average. It's what is the smoothed value that gives us what uh, cycle, where we are in the cycle. And that value has declined, declined, declined. And it's still pretty high if you look at it here. We should still have, um, you know, good solar activity in 2026, even 2027, even though, of course, it's declining. I think we uh, should enjoy, um, you know, there will be lots of 10 meter openings in the winter and there will be a lot of propagation on higher frequencies. Uh, you know, it's not dead yet. It's still continuing and there will be, of course, in there some peaks where we'll have very high solar activity. And uh, like, for example, here is some of the data is missing, but we'll have some peaks that go up here probably within the next time to update this chart uh, due to uh, pretty high solar activity we had in the last month, month and a half. Uh, but slowly, of course, it will go down to solar minimum, which will be reached somewhere around 2030. And uh, until then, you know what, enjoy the fact that we're still at the higher level. Now, there's been a very high number of geomagnetic unrest and also a lot of solar flares in the past month, two months. So, yeah, it, it has been a rough ride on the propagation, and that's the effect of high solar activity, solar max. It's great when it's quiet, but it is also much more disturbed than when we are at solar minimum. So we're looking for a 2026, which will continue, of course, the decline, but we should still have some pretty good propagation as the sunspot numbers in 2026. Uh, if all goes according to plan, should continue to be above 100 uh, on average. And of course, like I said, there will be these peaks that will be very, very high at times because uh, that's the sun up and down. Spaceweather.com, a great website to go and check out for what's happening. I'm going to share this website, of course, in the description. And here you can check out daily solar activity news and information. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.